All right, friends, welcome back to another Python video. Today we dive into Jupyter and to be precise into Jupyter AI, because now the large language models are also available in Jupyter. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up and use them. But before I do this, please, if you have not done so far, subscribe to the channel so I can produce more videos like that. Okay, so let's get started. Now, in order to use uh, OpenAI, for instance, and other kind of large language models in Jupyter, what you first need to do is you need to install the Jupyter AI extension. You can run this either by pip install Jupyter AI or by pip install Jupyter AI Magix. It depends on whether you're going to use Jupyter Lab as well. If you want to have all, use the upper command. If you want to specifically only use it in Jupyter Notebooks, use the lower command. It's up to you. Um, so after this, whenever you want to use them, you need to first load the extension by simply calling this percentage, so as a magic command, load extension Jupyter Magix. And after that, you need to define your uh, your keys. So for instance, for OpenAI, you need to specify an environmental variable, which is called OpenAI API key. As soon as you do this, then you can use ChatGPT magic commands by simply typing this double percentage AI symbol, and then ChatGPT, and then you just specify your question. For instance, in my case, when I test it here, please generate the streamlit sample application with a file uploader for PDF and Word documents. So that was my question. And you can see that certainly it does that. And then it writes this code. So that's the output you get when you ask your question here. Now, as I said, required is just the OpenAI API key, but you can use the free version. So if you register for free, you can create your own API keys in here. Of course, I removed mine before I showed the video because <laughs> you can't use mine, but it's up to you to use your own one. So that's how easy it is. So just make sure you first load the magic commands, then specify also the environment variables. You can also, also use load.env if you want, or use any other kind of option to load them, and then just write the magic commands with the specific provider you want to use, and then just ask your question down there. So this is that. And beside this, I also tried it with Hugging Face Hub, which is here. Um, as you can see here, I run, run into an error, obviously, but I'm going to show you this in a minute. What you do in here is you also specify the environment variable. In this case, it's hugging face hub API token. And then you specify your token here. And then the magic command is kind of the same. But this time, instead of open AI, you use hugging face hub, then a colon, and then you specify the specific repo ID, which you're going to use. In this case, I tried uh, llama 13 billion, in this case, from open assistant. And then I, uh, write it, I wrote my question, but obviously it ran into an error. And let's just see what the error is. Erased by inference API and so on. This is a timeout error. Okay, obviously it took too long. Um, if you have used Hugging Face, um, well, the the um, inference API before, then you're probably familiar when sometimes you run into timeouts. At least that's my experience. Uh, it might be because of the model or the current, um, obviously, maybe it's currently very busy. I don't know. Uh, but obviously, uh, here it failed based on the timeout. But uh, to be specific here, this is what you need to do. You specify the AI, then what kind of model you want to use, open AI, in this case, hugging face, and then you specify here the repo ID which you want to use. Okay. So you can try it out with different repos as well, um, maybe another one, and uh, this should work for you. If not, also, please feel free to share this in the comments. What's your experience with a hugging face? I'm very interested to hear this as well. Besides this, if you want to know what kind of models are available for you, what kind of providers, you can simply run a percentage AI and then list. And then you should see a list appearing like this one here, which specifies here what kind of provider are available. And then, of course, whether the environmental variable is set. Because the way it works is always the same, um, right? You use this double, uh, double percent sign, AI, and then the provider. But of course, you need to specify the environment variable. And then, of course, it uh, depends on what kind of provider you're on, you're on use. So as you can see, you can use Azure, Entrophic, uh, Bedrock uh, from AWS, I think, uh, and so on. So all these are available in here, and you can use any of them uh, if you have, of course, a specific key for that. And then you can use them directly in Jupyter Notebook. So that's it for this video. So hopefully that was interesting to you. I encourage this. Try this out yourself. If you got questions, of course, feel free to ask. Um, I'm always interested in the discussions below the videos. And as I said, if you have not done so far, now it's time to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like that. So thanks a lot. Take care and see you in the next video.